It's been a rough week for the Lions as they lost yet again to their rivals, the Scorpions. Our sports analysts say the Lions only have a 15% chance of even making it to the playoffs this year. So if you were thinking about taking the family to a game in the next few weeks for a fun night out, well, you may want to think about changing your plans. Before we move on, we continue to hear news from the White House on its updating budget proposal. We're getting details that it continues to cut funding to NASA and other scientific-based organizations, making it the lowest it's ever been in history. Our analysts say that the moon landing scheduled for next year may be postponed yet again. While we're on the subject of science, we now turn to Guy Watterson for this hour's segment of Geek On. And thank you for that charming introduction, Kathy. I'm here today with the hottest new app that you can't live without this season. Introducing Kick Me, the only anonymous instant messaging app on the market today. It's a fantastic process that involves a virtual private network that you install on your phone. Have you ever wanted to prank someone in your group? Just get revenge on that one guy who's always stealing your food. Kick Me is the perfect solution. With Kick Me, you can get people to go places, make them think they're being followed in the middle of the night. Dave, mute. Would you like to watch something else, Lucy? Actually, can you just turn that off? All right. Incoming call from Robert Woodward. Dave, can you patch that through to my phone? Hi, Dad. No, I'm, I'm just uh, doing some, some research for my uh, next project. It, it's, uh, uh, Ross is in charge. It's about some, uh, uh, entrepreneur of like a internet company, like a social media thing. Uh, it, yeah? Well, of course. Okay, because he asked me to. Because I, I know what I'm doing. Well, I, I they don't just give projects to, to anyone. I mean, I, I haven't been there longer than. Hey, Dad, I, I'd love to continue this conversation. I, I, I've got to get back to work, okay? Perfect timing, thank you. <laughs> you okay? Is that, is that your dad? That was my dad doing his uh, weekly checkup on why his daughter is a disappointment. I'm sorry I had to go through that again. Yeah, that's right. The only reason he doesn't disown me is because I married a man with an actual job. Speaking of which, how was work? You're home a little bit early. Work. Um, work was... Uh, it was. It was. Would you care to elaborate on that? Okay, look. I. I, I need to. Something happened, and. Um, Who died? What? what no, 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 no. It's, 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 nothing, it's nothing like that. I, 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 I quit. You quit? My, my job, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I should have talked to you first before, I, I know it's a big decision, and Wait, I... Slow down, what happened? They cut my astrophysics class. They what? They, they, just, they just got rid of it, all right? And they, I, they just lost interest. I don't know, the, the curriculum was going down, and now all I'm doing is teaching Astronomy 101. Okay, you know who takes that class? Potheads in need of a credit. Right? No, no one enjoys being there, and not, not even me, and I just feel they just, 
you just Carl. cut my head off Carl. and did it. Carl, you you got to slow down. I'm sorry, I, sh I should have talked to you it's first, okay. I'm sorry. You, you did what you thought was right, and I, I, I don't want you wasting away doing, doing something that you're not, not passionate about. And what are you going to do about your, your research? What are you going to do about... I don't know. I, the funding for it was pretty much dead anyway. I'm not sure if it would have lasted a month. But I, I, I don't know. Serves me right for getting involved in dark matter. You know, some something most people don't even think exists, let alone give a shit about. And the worst part was is that I was so close. All right, I was. I just needed a little more time to research, and it, I would have been done. And I just, if I just study it a little longer, I can make it. Maybe. But Hypothetically, could you go independent? With what money? What, what technology? Like, even if I did find something, no one would care about it. Okay, no, it's not like I'm turning any heads. You see what's on the media. So, so if you found what you were looking for, how big of a deal would it be? Like, like in the grand scheme of things. It's a pretty freaking big deal. What if I made this my next project? What, what if I, I documented the whole thing? Like, I, I could put in a request at the studio, and, uh, you know, Bob loves this sort of thing. He knows what you do, and he's all over that. We, like, this could be really good for both of us if it works out. I mean, I, I can't ask you to do that. I mean, I know you love working over there, and I know Ross has you working on that documentary no, anyway. No, well, Ross knows that I, I've got projects of my own, and I've been looking for an independent project for a really long time, and, and this could be it. It could be a lot of work. Yeah, I know. And the, the, what about the money and the... And we'll figure the, it out. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Just don't screw this up. Noted. Status update, Dave. Spectral analysis remains undisturbed. Damn it. Would you like me to tune in on a more specific area? No, 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 no. Just... I don't want to miss anything. Just... Scan the same area, but... Uh, specify in on the X-ray spectrum. Tuning spectral analysis now. What you up to? You know, just uh, the usual. I was waiting for you to come to sleep. Yeah, you know, I just, I just got, I just got caught up with all of it and stuff. So. When was the last time you got any sleep at all? That's a good question. Dave. Thirty-seven hours ago. Operating at four yeah. hours of sleep. Come on, you need some rest. I, I can I can rest when I'm done. Don't worry. I I'm I'm fine. No. Come on. Let me see. No, that's 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 my that's, that's my notebook. You need to get some sleep. No, I don't I don't need sleep. We're both up. Let's. Grab some coffee or something. What? Dave is still running. He'll he'll watch while you. Come on. I would also suggest that you rest, Carl. This much work is ill-advised in your current. Shut up. Fine. stars I mean it's only my job 
Well, you can afford to, to come back down to Earth every once in a while. Earth and I aren't exactly on good terms right now. We can turn it around. We nuts. Dave? Neither of you show signs of any disabilities in mental health. Dave, what is it? Spectral analysis shows emissions of Shit. unknown origin. Shit, fuck. Uh, Dave, elaborate. Scanners detected signals of X-ray emissions of uncharted particles. Fuck, uh, 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 can, can you pinpoint its origin? Lose to get the camera. Already done. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready to go. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name my name is Dr. Carl Kendall, and uh, <laughs> this, this is what I've discovered today. Uh, I've, I've, I've been continuously scanning the Coma Berenices constellation for the past two months, about, and uh, <sighs> focusing in on the on the X-ray spectrum, and I've just detected multiple signals of of of, of uncharted x-ray emissions and if <laughs> if if we're correct then this could be the first physical evidence that we have <laughs> that we have of dark matter <laughs> holy shit <laughs> <laughs> i did something you did it <laughs> you did it i did something it's going to be just fine Hopefully. about sir I'm afraid I'm gonna have to place you under arrest now stay there face that way sir yeah I zip up my pants first go ahead session under Carl Kendall, session one. Save it with the day's date and time. Beginning recording session now. Mr. Kendall, my name is Detective Mark Romer, and I would recommend having your full cooperation with this interrogation. Now, I understand that you have waived your right to have your attorney present, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. You want any coffee or water before we get started? Let's begin this, shall we? Will you state your occupation for the record, please? I'm an astrophysicist. And would you specify exactly what that is? Are you serious? I, I study the, 
the laws of physics, or the way things work in space, to, to put it lightly. Yes, and you were quite the student over at Sagan, weren't you? Probably professor also, from what I hear. Both your peers and your mentors spoke very highly of you. But then you just up and left. How does that happen to a guy like you? University and I had different philosophies. That simple. Sometimes that's all it takes. Unless it does something to piss you off, since you stole over a hundred thousand dollars of equipment from them. Something that I can't even pronounce. But when someone finally did report it missing, we learned that some of it had GPS. It was old, it took us a while to activate and track down, and when we finally did get it on, we weren't even sure if it was working right, because it said it, this stuff was on a mountaintop 200 miles away. Now, who does that? Apparently you do. Why? I was studying. someone would go through all this trouble just to study. If you knew what I was studying, you wouldn't be questioning it. How important can it possibly be? It's pretty damn important. So what you're studying, Miss Dark Matter, if it's so important, why haven't I heard it reported anywhere else? Why is nobody else looking into it? I ask myself that every day. Would you like to think that you know better than everyone else? I'd like to think so, yeah. What's Coma? It's a region in far off space. It's a collection of thousands of galaxies spiraling together. In uh, I, I didn't ask for a science lesson. From the looks of it, you could use one. Seem that important to me. Well, it's a pretty big freaking deal. All right, and I, I just found maybe like the first physical evidence of it ever recorded. You don't even know if it exists or oh, not. Fucker. All right, look at this. All right, I've been scanning the light spectrum from coma for the past I don't even know how long, and then I found uncharted X-ray emissions of unknown origins. All right, now these emissions could have possible ties to the origins of dark matter being the first physical evidence that we have of it. And why does this matter? Because, because dark matter takes up 85% of the universe. Okay, it, 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 is, it is literally everywhere and it affects everything. Everything? Yeah. And how do we know that? Gonna need that coffee. All right, I'll start. Why'd you do it? It shouldn't even be a question. Well, I'm asking it. I wanted to document the truth. Is that it? Should there be more? I don't know, I just thought it'd be a little bit more complex than all that. <sighs> Why do you watch the news? to hear the news. Well, that's not what happens. See, there's a difference between what you want to hear and what goes on. And uh, you're going to be the one to change everything, is that right? I'm not saying that I'm going to be the one to change everything. The studio I work for is one of the only ones with any integrity. Thank God, I swear, if I see one more goddamn cat video on the front page, oh, I'm going to kill someone. Figuratively. My point, my point is, I wanted something real, and this is real, and this is happening, and this can change everything that we know. Mrs. Kendall, I'm gonna tell you this right now. All this dark matter stuff isn't gonna fly in here. So when taking into account the total binding mass of the galaxy cluster, we can conclude 
that there is more mass in coma than what is visually seen. So you said there's over a thousand galaxies already in there. Is that a, not enough? No, 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 not, not, not nearly. Okay, according, according to the calculations, there is at least 90% more stuff in coma than what is detectable. What does someone even do with all this information? Study it. I mean, <laughs> this is the entire big portion of the universal composition of what we're talking about here. Ent entire fields could be based off of discoveries like this in order to fully understand the universe. How does someone even come across this? I mean, Einstein's theory of relativity uh, really came into account and over, overall gravity and Joseph Fraunhofer's way of detecting light. Wait, 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 wait. I thought Isaac Newton was gravity. Okay, well, well, yes, but like Isaac Newton discovered that the same gravity that pulls an apple out of a tree is the same gravity that keeps the moon in Earth's orbit, but, but Einstein took it to an entire new level that just turned science in on its head. How so? Okay, so the big thing you need to remember that energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Dave, spell speculative. Speculative. S P E C U L A T I V E. Dave, define dark matter. In some cosmological theories, it is non-luminous material that is postulated to exist okay, in space. Stop, stop. So objects of immense mass distort and manipulate the space-time continuum, thus causing gravity to take effect and planets, moons, and all that fancy stuff falls under its control. So the coma cluster affects gravity like our sun, just bigger. Yes, exactly. What's all this worth if this light's millions of years old, huh? Isn't all this stuff irrelevant to like what you're studying, man? Like, how does this help you in any way? It's not. It's not irrelevant. All right. It, it doesn't matter when it takes place. The laws of physics don't change. Okay. It's, it's static. Well, is there a way we could actually see it somehow? Like how it is at this moment? No, no. You can predict what it'll look like in the future based on its present course, but unless you're actually there, you can't see it how it is now. There, there has to be a way, man. There's obviously a reason why you're showing us this stuff. No, what? no, no, no. If it takes light 321 million years to get there, humans aren't going to get there anytime soon, well, especially with the technology we're using. Some people used to think we weren't going to break the sound barrier. Hell, people didn't think we could fly. Maybe one day we'll be able to go faster than light. Who really knows? I know, okay? It's impossible. Oh, come on now. No, no, it is literally impossible, okay? The difference between flying and traveling faster than the speed of light is that you don't have the laws of physics restricting you from getting into an airplane. What about that other thing from Star Trek? I think yeah, they call Kirk. it... Rap drive or no. something. No, that's that that's warp drive. That's that's different, but it's still highly unlikely. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course it's, it can happen, can it? No, just Alright, okay, no. Okay, so warp drive, basically, imagine space is like the ocean, alright? And your spaceship is a boat, alright? As seen here. Now instead instead of the water, instead of you pushing on the water, the water pushes the boat to where you want it to go, and so it's, it's, it's a loophole in space-time continuum, therefore you're technically not traveling under your own power. So that is why that's... What's going on in here? We're Just trying to... Gathering information? Figure it out. Yeah, it looks like it. You four, get out. Oh my... Like you. 
you sometimes. Because you can comprehend all this and, well, I don't know what any of it means. I mean, I, I can teach you if you want. Is my, is my wife all right? She's in the other room. Take a seat. You know, I get a lot of weirdos who are sitting where you are right now. Robbers, thieves, straight up idiots. But there was always a motive behind it. And once you understood it, it all made sense. But you, the, the smartest guy to sit in that chair, hell, even this entire building, I just, I can't figure it out. If you don't understand at this point, I don't. Try me. I didn't have to go to the mountain. You know. Could have just done it just about anywhere, but I insisted. I just couldn't stay in a society that has such a different philosophy from my own. He's, <laughs> These, these people, they, they see science like it's some damn circus act, okay? They, they're ignorant of its true and full potential. It's so much more than that app on your phone or the latest health food or any, any of these damn snake oils that are being advertised today. Science is so much more than myself or my personal agenda. There, there is literally an entire universe out there and it is being ignored and it is the most divine and beautiful thing that I can be a part of and study. You think that there's no benefit or no, no reason for what I'm doing when in fact the greatest gift I receive when I conduct my work is knowledge. And that's knowledge of, of knowledge of us, knowledge of our home, knowledge of our being, knowledge that no one has ever known before. And for me, that's reason enough. The university isn't filing any charges. Apparently they didn't want to stir up a whole media circus because all the equipment was found safe and functional. However, all the research must be turned over to the university. No, that's, <laughs> that was my work, that was my doing. Done with university property, it's done. Look, Mary, the public is losing interest. Just get me something, something new. No! I just did a goddamn tack thing last week. I can't stand any more of those damn felines. Just get me something, anything. Just make sure it's new. Just do it!
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name my name is Dr. Carl Kendall, and uh, <laughs> this is what I've discovered today. 